today we're gonna we're gonna go over how a panel actually operates what are the components in a panel we're gonna discuss that here today hi my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor today we're gonna go over components of a 200 and a 100 amp panel what can you touch what can't you touch that's one of the biggest things that most people need to understand once you are comfortable around a panel it makes doing electrical work a little easier, okay? Understanding components, that's the biggest part. So let's jump right into it. Okay, this here is a 200 amp main breaker panel. This you can find in any home. What we're gonna discuss today is what are the components? What can you touch, what can't you touch? Well, one of the biggest things is to understand what they actually do and then from there, as you start getting more comfortable, you understand what you can and cannot touch. So, all right, so we're looking at a couple different things today. All right, this is our four aught conductors coming into our panel. We have a black, a white, and a red wire. This is typical for a three wire, 240 volt, single phase service that you would find in any dwelling. Your black is one hot conductor, that's bringing 120 volts in. Your red is another hot conductor. That's also bringing 120 volts in. The two together give us 240 volts. The white wire is our neutral wire. It's actually the grounded conductor. That's actually bringing, that's actually returning our power to us to complete our loop, complete our circuit, okay? This style panel here is a square D panel and it actually has a bridge underneath which you really can't see, but if you were to look you know, in one of these panels, you would see that they're interconnected to this middle lug. These set screws here and these set screws here, these are what we call neutral and ground bars, okay? Now, in a main breaker panel, one of the things you have to remember is we need to combine the neutral and the ground together at the first means of disconnect. Just because I have a main breaker does not mean that that is going to be my first means of disconnect. We could have another breaker, you know, two, 300 feet away from us in a, in a dwelling, maybe second, third floor. Uh, we could have a main breaker down at our, at our meter. If the main breaker is at the meter, you have to make sure that you, you combine the grounds and the neutrals together. They can share each other, right? That's our main bonding point. Once you get into another panel, that's called a sub-panel, you have to separate the neutral and grounds. We'll show that in another video at another time. You got your main breaker, power coming in. With this breaker, with this breaker off, no power is being transferred down from the lugs, okay? It's not being transferred down. We have, you can see, we have two screws. The two screws represent the A phase and the B phase. Now, as an electrician, that makes sense. As a standard homeowner, does it really make sense? No. Do you really need to know everything about it? No, but you should understand a couple things about it, which we'll talk about when we get into other videos about sharing multi-wire circuits and things of that nature. This here is our A phase, meaning every other Bus bar is going to be connected to the A phase. The B phase, every other is going to be connected. Now let's go look at a 100 amp panel. Okay, so here is a 100 amp panel. I can tell because I have a 100 amp main breaker, okay? Meaning I can't put any more than number two aluminum on this breaker. You have your two bus bars that are in your panel, okay? The side to your left is going to be your A phase. The side to your right is going to be your B phase. Okay, what does that mean? That means that these two breakers here are going to be connected to the A phase. These two breakers down here, once I install it, these two breakers will be on the B phase. The next pair will be on the A phase. The next pair will be on the B phase. We'll discuss why that's like that in other videos. We have a connected neutral bar, okay? This, this panel here is a load center, so that means that my, the two bars on this side here are to tie in my neutral and my ground. If 
for this demonstration, we are going to use the neutral and the ground on the same bus bar. We discussed 100 and 200 amp panels today, how they work, what the components are. If this video was helpful, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and subscribe. We put out videos every Friday. Have a great day and be safe.